The 10 Best Things to Do in Paris One, see Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower in Paris is the most visited paid monument in the world. It was built for the World's Fair in 1889 and is 324 meters tall. Its four levels include two restaurants, a museum and an observatory at 234 meters, 770 feet high where you can take panoramic photos of Paris. Two, visit Louvre Museum. The Louvre is the largest art museum in the world, housing over 35,000 works of art. The museum was established in 1793 during the French Revolution and opened to the public in 1796. In 1989, it became a part of France's Ministry of Culture, which includes all other national museums. The most visited museum in the world, it boasts being home to masterpieces like Da Vinci's Mona Lisa and Michelangelo's David. 3. Strolling through Versailles Palace The Versailles Palace is a chateau in Versailles, France, that served as the main residence of French monarchs from Louis XIV to Louis XVI. The palace is now a national museum and famous tourist destination. The palace was the largest and most lavish palace in Europe during its time. It has over 700 rooms, including an opera house and stables, for 200 horses. 4. Boat Trip on the Seine River Take a Seine River Cruise This is one of the best ways to see the city, especially if you're looking for a romantic or relaxing day. The river boats are tiny and made for two people, so it's a good choice if you want to spend some quality time with your partner or friends without having to worry about being bothered by others. You'll be able to see many of Paris' famous landmarks such as Notre Dame Cathedral, Saint Chapelle, the Royal Chapel, and Pont Alexander III Bridge from this vantage point. 5. Visit Notre Dame Cathedral the Notre Dame Cathedral is the most famous cathedral in Paris. It was built between 1163 and 1345 and has been a famous landmark since the Middle Ages. The facade of this well-known church features sculptures representing various biblical figures, including Saint Denis, whose head was supposedly buried in this church after his death, as well as two angels holding a crown above Jesus' head on one side of the front door. 6. Discover Luxembourg Garden Located in the 6th arrondissement, Luxembourg Garden is one of the most beautiful green spaces in Paris. The garden houses many fountains and a lake that makes for a great place to relax and enjoy the scenery. You can also find numerous statues throughout the park, including one of Venus de Milo, which was originally found on an island in Greece. This outdoor space is perfect for people watching as well as romantic dates or even picnics. 7. Enjoy Moulin Rouge Show, The Red Mill The Moulin Rouge is a cabaret located in the Pigalle district of Paris. It's one of the most famous cabarets in the world, and it's a popular tourist attraction. The Moulin Rouge was originally opened in 1889 as a dance hall by Charles Seidler. The name Moulin Rouge comes from an 18th century mill and windmill which used to be located near where the club now stands. The show itself has been performed at this location since 1899, when it opened with a performance by Yvette Gilbert, a singer who performed regularly at Le Chat Noir. Before long, it became known as the Red Mill because of its red velvet curtains, today these are replaced by blue ones instead. 8. Self-Guided Tour in Paris Paris is fairly easily to navigate on foot thanks to the fact that most of the historic districts, or arrondissements as they're so-called in French, are centered within the Paris periphery. Discover the city at your own pace or as a preview for what you will see on a live-guided tour. 9. Explore Disneyland Paris 
Disneyland Paris is an entertainment resort in Chessy, France, 32 kilometers east of Paris. It encompasses two theme parks, resort hotels, Disney nature resorts, a shopping, dining and entertainment complex, and a golf course. Disneyland Park is the original theme park of the complex, opening in 1992. 10. Take a walk down Champs-Élysées. Champs-Élysées is the most famous street in the world. It's also one of the most expensive ones, with a typical price per meter being around $8,000. The total length of this iconic Parisian avenue is 2.1 kilometers, 1.3 miles, and it has been visited by nearly 1 billion tourists over its 200-year history, that's roughly 3 million people per year, 